Hey, I'm Ray, and not to be a Debbie Downer, but I got a kind of serious video for everybody today. Not like serious, serious, like not like danger or anything. It's literally just my petty problem. I just thought talking about it might bring me some peace of mind. So VidCon at the time of posting this is in about a week and I'll be attending, but not to host meetups or anything. I'm going mostly to hang out with my friends and maybe make some new ones. I don't know, hopefully. And I've really got no idea what to expect from it, but I've been increasingly worried about it. Uh, long story short, I'm just super insecure about my appearance. I have been my whole life. My mom was a photographer, so I essentially grew up constantly being posed and critiqued for how to look better in a photo and having what I looked like shoved in my face, and it just scared me really badly. I don't know really why it upset me so much at the time, other than being told how to look better, I guess, but uh, I never really, it never really went away. There's a lot to this story, but honestly, I'd rather save it for a later date. It boils down to, I spent a really long time just in, a, just in despair about how I looked and not treating myself well, and it took me moving out and being independent to really have the courage to work on myself. And I've been working really hard on, like, every area of how I feel like I look. And I'm working really hard despite road bumps or whatever life obstacles. And I I know I, number-wise and whatever, it's I've made a lot of progress, but I've never felt any better. And it's gotten to the point that I've been told that I might just have body dysmorphia. Which would mean that no matter how different I would look from how I did years ago, that I would still obsessively think that I look flawed because of a sort of a mental block. And so what, right? A lot of people are self-conscious and struggle with liking their reflection. That's fine. It doesn't make me special. It hasn't stopped most people or me from going out into the world and living their life. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, I've been recognized before at college or at conventions you know I've been on YouTube a long time it's happened over uh, it's happened sometimes over the last couple years normally I just suck it up but suddenly now things feel really different uh my face has been posted on the internet before I've posted live action videos and selfies before I've drawn myself before but there was never this huge demand that I now have ever since I posted my introduction story time. I've, it's, it, I've just had so many demands for a face reveal. When you type my name in anywhere, the first suggested search is face reveal. I get asked on every video, basically any live stream I have, I, there's always going to be a handful of people that are just there to demand a face reveal. And suddenly people are voicing what they expect me to look like, and it's always a certain way, and I don't know if I actually look like that or if I ever will because I've only ever unequivocally hated my reflection. And after this happened, I just, I panicked. I ran to hide all the pictures of me that I could because I was scared that everybody else was going to hate it too. I couldn't hide everything. Some accounts I just don't have access to. I've been on famous birthdays for a while and oh my god. <laughs> so the picture that they had of me for a long time was oh, they cropped they cropped it in the worst way. It was they they took the picture back when I was on Instagram. I had all my silly selfies there and it was a picture that I took with a painting instructor. We had gotten paint on each other's faces and then we posed for a picture. We made the silliest face we could and they zoomed all the way in, like forehead to chin, with me making this nasty expression like, God, huh. it'd be hilarious if I didn't want to cry about it. They were nice enough to let me change it recently, but to save you the Google search time, here's my face. God, this feels really stupid. The longer I talk about it, the more it sounds like it really shouldn't be a big deal. I, I just, I haven't been able to get over it. Like, it's, it's affecting me. <laughs> It just is. I can't help it. I'm I'm told like it doesn't matter. It it shouldn't matter. It's just people's opinions don't matter, but it does. It just <sighs> Sorry. Like I said at the beginning, I'm doing this video cuz I'm hoping it'll calm my nerves. I've been scared of disappointing people or everyone and I figure I can just rip the band-aid off now and let people know what to expect should you maybe see me. 
I know the way I draw myself is very stylized. I know everyone draws themselves stylized. My hair isn't that long or poofy, unfortunately. God, I wish. Yeah, in general, I get distracted all the time, and while I'm drawing, I fall into more generic features, which are inherently more flattering. I, I don't like judging anyone's smile or laugh because that's such a genuine and happy thing that no one should feel bad about, but I, <laughs> I hate my own smile. The drawn version of myself is still based on me. I, it's just, I draw myself partially how I feel. I know I'm an outgoing and loud person. I don't mind attention when it's for something like my personality. It's why I liked acting so much. It's just, oh my word, insecurity doesn't suit me, baby. <laughs> it doesn't make any goddamn sense for someone as quote unquote bold as I am to be this self-conscious. Who decided this? I want a refund. I just, I'm so sick of feeling happy with who I am as a person, and then backtracking and second-guessing everything because of how I look. And it's it's been years, and I'm fed up with it, and I want it to be over. <laughs> one day, I would like to do an actual face reveal, like a live-action one, like like a story time, but instead of the talk sprites, it's me in my actual heart-shaped chair. I think that sounds pretty rad. Not for you guys, but for me, as like my reward, I guess. <laughs> because like, I'm, I'm still working on myself uh, physically or with what I eat, with working out. I already said physically, I've got a closet full of self-care stuff I'm trying to remind myself to use. I don't know how to start thinking better, so I'm gonna start seeing a therapist soon to talk about it. I just, I really hate living, feeling like I'm hiding from myself. And my goal is to one day have the confidence to come on camera. I want that for myself. And I hope that's a realistic goal. <laughs> Sorry if this was, like, uncomfortable real talk. Uh, it, this isn't even an attempt uh, at a fish for compliments. I'd really, really prefer if my appearance was just never talked about in a perfect world. Uh, I just... I want to stop feeling like a fraud or whatever. Odd choice of words, I know. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope you all think that you're fly as hell. Like I said, I, I will be at VidCon this week. Um, I am nervous about it, but I, I'm still an extrovert at heart. I'm not, I, I'm not intentionally going out to do any meetups or anything, but if you do see me, I'm totally happy to say hi. And of course, as always, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me and my $10 patrons who want to get their name read. I'm going to do that now. Thank you so much, Angel Hickman, Inugami Black, Dexter Koch, Chris Daru, Aiden Strong, Daniel Baton, Mr. Angry Fat Man, Firework Cat 25, Ivy Rosie, Roxas Prowers, Cute Cadaver 18, Midnight Paradise, Crazy Kitsune Macintosh, East West 333, Zephesis, A Myriad of Stars, Dox the Wizard, Tony Sylvie, Treviola, Zachary Direnzo, Flaming Puppeteer, Maurice, Brian Lee, Madam Starfall, Leo Convoy, Gian Yanni, Skill Dragon Sylvie, Distorter, Night Mage 14, Sheriff Yeehaw, Witchy Toby, Kutera, Zelfis, Renstrav Aviovis, Cater, Solanance Barrage, Blade the Wolf Artist, Cheerless, Key the Queen, Jacob Dunnan, Ethan Gardner, Fallen Zippo, Slade X, John Winotch, Chesamoon 18, Stupid Genius, Johnny Aswick, Arctic Sentry, Mirror Mask, Sylveon Dream, Basket Case, Juno Orleus, Tosin, Dude Moo, Zebulite, Cheese Sprout, Decaf Hero, Makaru, Chris Sigma, Sweet S, Fox, Jeremy Readinger, Shell, Faley, Zolos, Tokomoto, Inferosa, Red Chibi, Antiqua, Nimu Cost, Dust Munchies, Baked Potatoes, Audensities, Fire Mega Man Zero, Alley Cat Raichu, Nifty, Arwin, Riley Gas, Russell the Jimmies, Pablo the One, Lily Pia, Our Brightest Stars, Dosko, Nikos, William Whaler, Skulldackery, Michael, Caleb Whitman, Emma Joy, Wolf Girl 453, Gurgims, Echo Titan, Jacob Wentworth, CZM Avery, Andrew Robinson, Fiverr 26, SJH Studios, Too Much Spirits, Stephen Cooper, Sober Dogs, Jassy Purr, Shadow, Kuma Osama, Nomorphous, Navadi, Deca Necrosa, Cobaltum, Chris Best, Foxy Band, Kaido, War Raven 123, Morty LS, Trash Zuma, Lena the Swagmaster, Uwu, Daniel Saria, Alpha Chungus, Creed, Seth Haynes, Inky, Zarman, Kurt Coolman, Red Pandasies, T Dudsec, Hip Hop Hylian, Dan Warren, Cookie Brook, Mercy Mayhem, Frenchie the Fry, Jonathan DeMoisey, Elmira503, Bam Bow, Coda, Filoso Fox, Chirisaro, Lutheru, Michael McLaughlin, Rosuri On, Hikari U, Grand Finale, Amanda Ackerman, 
Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Omar Reyes, Honey Bee, Delirious Decidueye, Force Raider, Raven Cloud, Blue Bones Neo, I know how to make Ray whisper, Book Fan Geek, Q Kanhime, Tiny, Catherine Sokolowski, Give That Frog a Hug, The Scorched Blaze, Swift Chaos, Johnny Stars, Car Stark Strange, The Lovely Kiara, Orion Horizon, Blue, and wait for it, Kabuki. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support and for watching this video. And have a really nice day, guys. Mm, bye.